this for the abdominal muscles. Uh, there are plenty of different exercises that can be applied to strengthen the abdominal muscles. And we will give some examples for these uh, exercises. We will start first with curl up. And uh, you need a mat. And the performer will start from the uh, spine line position, then hook line position. And the curl up um, needs the performer to elevate the upper trunk by clearing the uh, head, neck, and the shoulder blades of the ground. And you can also notice the placement of the arm. And the easiest is to uh, place beside your body, and then he is progressing to uh, cross the chest and uh, behind the head. And something to mention, do not uh, uh, interlock both arms uh, behind your head as not to um, uh, harm your neck. And another thing, all the exercises that he is applying, uh, he's also uh, considering the draw and maneuver as well. So this was the curl up. And uh, for the curl up, you can uh, modify or progress the exercise by changing, as I said, the placement of the arms and also uh, you can uh, make it a bit harder if you want to uh, decrease the point of contact with the ground. So you can also apply it while uh, clearing uh, both legs uh, of the ground. This is a harder form of the exercise. Uh, and uh, from the uh, curl up, uh, he was uh, doing the movement in the forward direction. He can also perform a curl up but into the diagonal directions. So he's going diagonally. So the right elbow to the left knee, the left elbow to the right knee, and uh, etc. And don't forget to uh, perform the draw and maneuver. If the performer is not able to do the uh, curl up, then uh, it's really a good idea to start from the curl down. Uh, so all the way up, and this will be your starting position. And then ask the performer to uh, perform the draw and maneuver. So point your upper like this end. And then you will ask him to lower the upper trunk to an extent uh, that will allow him to go back again. Uh, so this will be the first phase of applying uh, the uh, curl down as a prerequisite to the curl up uh, exercise. Uh, and from the uh, curl up and the curl down, uh, you can also, from this position, you can also apply the twist. This is a harder form of doing the exercise. If you are not able to do the, uh, this, you can simply uh, put both legs on the ground and then apply the uh, twist as well. Uh, we are varying uh, and changing the positions, the starting position of the exercise, and you are changing the directions in order to target the different muscles of the uh, abdominal wall. Uh, then after, so, so far we have done the curl up, the curl down, and the diagonal curl ups, and also the twist, and sometimes they call it the Russian twist. Uh, don't forget that you can always uh, make the exercise harder by adding some types of resistance to all the previous uh, exercises. Uh, we can also perform now uh, the uh, bilateral uh, leg raising and lowering. So from the supine line position, Uh, don't forget to draw in, and uh, you will ask the performer to raise both legs uh, up and then lower it. And when you lower your uh, legs, it has to be in a controlled manner. He is not touching the ground, and this is a harder form of applying the exercise. If you want to take a rest or a break, then you will touch the ground and uh, repeat, uh, and then uh, do multiple repetitions. Uh, as I said before, uh, he is also holding the uh, draw and maneuver, so all the time his umbilicus is pulled towards the back. Um, you can also apply another form of exercise, which is the pelvic lift. So basically, it will start with uh, raising both legs uh, upward and then trying to touch the ceiling. Uh, so he's uh, raising the pelvis up the mat. And of course, he's doing this exercise while uh, maintaining the draw and maneuver. And you can do multiple repetitions uh, of the uh, exercise. Uh, another form of abdominal exercise uh, can be done uh, can be done uh, by uh, incorporating uh, both uh, arms and legs. Uh, so as far as you can see, sometimes we are playing with the moving the arms or moving the legs, and sometimes we can add both together. Uh, so now we will try to mix the movement of the uh, arms and legs together from the supine line position. 
Yes. So, um, as you can see, uh, he's moving both the upper trunk and the legs together. Over from the supine lying position, uh, you can touch your, uh, uh, for example, uh, right uh, arm with the uh, left leg and vice versa. You can simply uh, reach to your knee with your elbow. And if you want to progress uh, the exercise uh, by reaching with one hand to the other foot, diagonal, you can do this as well. And as usual, you need to engage your uh, deep core muscles by uh, assuming the uh, draw and maneuver and apply the exercise for multiple repetitions. And as we said before, you need to uh, do the exercise and master the exercise and do as many repetitions in one minute before adding another challenge to any exercise. And in this video, we will show different exercises, strengthening exercises for the cervical and the lumbar region. Uh, using the uh, medicine ball. We will start with the cervical musculature. Uh, the uh, performer will be sitting on a medicine ball and then he will walk until the uh, trunk and the upper trunk is on the ball while the head is clear of the ground. Uh, he needs to elevate the pelvis and apply the draw and maneuver uh, and also chin in for the cervical region. And in this posture, as you can see, uh, it's an example for strengthening exercises for the uh, cervical flexors because it's uh, easier for you to go with the gravity downward, but he's uh, resisting that by activating the cervical flexors. If he wants to walk more uh, and allow the head to push against the ball, and of course, uh, remember the good posture and alignment, so he's uh, elevating the pelvis, uh, applying the draw and maneuver and chin in while also applying pressure against the ball. In this case, you are applying strengthening exercises for the cervical extensors. So this was an example for the cervical region. We will move now to other examples using the medicine ball for the lumbar region. Uh, you can apply the curl ups uh, using the medicine ball and in this case, you are using an unstable surface to perform the curl ups. So draw and maneuver and you need to clear the upper trunk, shoulder blades and head of the uh, medicine ball uh, and also he is varying the uh, placement of the arms uh, to progress the exercise as well. Uh, now we will be performing the rolling out exercise using the medicine ball as type of strengthening exercise for the lumbar flexors. So from kneeling position. Uh, you will walk the uh, ball forward until um, you can't anymore, then you need to uh, raise up again. And of course, you need to engage the lumbar flexors by applying the draw and maneuver. Uh, another exercise using the medicine ball is the pipes up. In this case, instead of putting both arms, you will be putting both feet on the medicine ball and then while putting both hands on the ground, uh, you will bring both feet toward your body. That's why we call it a pipes, pipes exercise. <clears throat> and of course, you need to do multiple repetitions. Uh, usually, you will start with 10 repetitions, and then if you want to progress, then ask the performer to apply as many repetitions as uh, he can uh, in one minute uh, to emphasize the endurance. Then you can progress to another challenge.